boys and girls to another session a03 writing for academic and professional success as you remember we were in the third unit of the text the third unit which deals with the process of writing academic essays in this context i was trying to explain to you the steps in planning the last session i was trying to explain to you uh, first of all in the process of writing i told you that an essay contains three parts an introductory paragraph depending on the kind of essay the body paragraphs which may be 3 4 or 5 in number and then the concluding paragraph which also which also i i try to explain to you what should be the content of the concluding paragraph if you remember that is the last paragraph of the essay it returns or returns to or rephrases the thesis statement it does not introduce any new ideas it summarizes the concluding paragraph summarizes the supporting ideas and then at last you give a kind of a concluding statement or final thought to your audience or readers i i told you also about the steps in planning an essay there are quickly we went through the three steps pre writing writing and revising and i gave you some examples of uh, some examples of some questions which you may have to the questions from the questions you may have to come to a topic come to a topic of the essay now you remember we were talking about ragging and finally many questions were raised and at last we came to the topic ragging and college campuses in kerala a perspective ragging in kerala colleges motives and repercussions revisiting the victims a history of sensational ragging cases in india that is where we stopped now coming back to pre writing again pre writing uh, that is actually pre writing activities are the preliminary steps before starting to write your essay how is it going to help you this pre writing stage or the pre writing exercises how are you going to, how how are they going to help you in writing a good academic academic essay it will help you to fine tune your topic it will help you to gather ideas pre writing pre writing exercises will help you to fine tune your topic to gather ideas to organize or decide the order in which ideas are to be presented it is in these ways that your pre writing exercises are going to help you pre writing activities is the stage when you understand your audience and adapt yourself to your audience it is at this stage that is pre writing stage of your academic essay writing that you sh- you you try to understand the audience the reader and uh, adapt yourself adapt your uh, language uh, your arguments your ideas etc now adapt yourself to you to your audience pre writing exercises are 
the preparation you do before the actual writing of the essay. Now, often while trying to understand, learn more about your audience, you should keep in mind that very often, very often learned people, students, teachers, professors, instructors, usually they are your audience. So you may have to be very careful while, while you prepare to write the essay. One of the, one of the methods that is adopted for uh, in pre-writing stage to gather ideas is something known as brainstorming. Now, what is brainstorming? Brainstorming is a group activity. Now, suppose you are writing an, uh, you are going to write an essay and you are in the pre-writing stage and um, you have a group of, a group of scholars a group of academicians, may a, say a group of students in front of you. You give, you give a, you give a phrase, you give a sentence, you give a word and ask them and write that word in the center of a, on a whiteboard or blackboard and ask the students or the ask the crowd before you to think about that, to concentrate on that phrase or word or sentence you have given as the center of attraction and ask them to give connected ideas about this. And if it is a group, if it is a, if it is a group of individuals, you will be surprised. Each one will give, will come out with different different words and phrases connected with the connected with the key word that you have given them you have given them and whatever they give the responses you may put an arrow from the center and write them and the around the whole the central word you will have ideas and phrases and uh, connected uh, connected ideas and this exercise is called brainstorming now Brainstorming is a group activity conducted at the beginning of a project, at the beginning of a project or can be a, at the beginning of uh, writing a book, at the beginning of solving a problem, a project to generate ideas and, and codify them, put them together. And there may be some ideas which are not so important and you can choose from them, from the ideas which are generated as a result of brainstorming exercises. You can get innovative ideas. Now if you can try this exercise before you start an essay, you will see, you will be, you will be, you will be wondering how innovative, how innovative the ideas that come from the individuals in the group. Uh, brainstorming can be of great use as a pre-writing technique. The following activities will help generate ideas for your study. On page 32 of your book, there are some things given. That is, generating for generating ideas for your essay, you can on the on the keyword. You can brainstorm around, brainstorm around the keyword, take a sheet of paper and write the keyword of your essay at the center and circle it. Draw arrows from the circle and write as many words as you can, remember, related to your keyword. This is the exercise. Okay. Alternatively, you can make a list of keywords, phrases and ideas revolving around your topic. That also can be done. Subdi then subdivide your topic into main points and list keywords, phrases, ideas under each of the main points because each main point becomes 
a body paragraph of your essay and then work with a partner and list out as many ideas as possible for five minutes on a topic interesting to you. That is an exercise which you can do, um, which is a part of a brainstorming. Uh, brainstorming, which is one of the best methods that can be uh, that can be followed in um, getting ideas for activities, which I told you know. Now, next is organizing and outlining. This stage is also important. I am talk. We are talking about pre-writing activities. Pre-writing activities. What is organizing and what is outlining? Please listen. Writing your essay may become a disquieting experience. It makes you makes you upset. Makes you upset. A disquieting experience if you start writing without a well prepared outline. Now, if all of a sudden read the question and start writing the essay, it's a very very wrong approach to academic academic writing. Now, you have to be very careful in, uh, in the preparation part of it and preparing an outline. Outlining is essential to bring the required logical ordering of your ideas. Logical ordering of your ideas. And then it will save your time. Look at the points to remember before preparing an outline we have on page 20 uh, sorry 32 of your uh, textbook five points given that are these are the points to remember before preparing an outline please listen to me keep your thesis statement handy thesis statement should be there decide the key subtopics through which you would defend or establish your point in the essay. Collect and keep ready sources that you would be using for quoting, elaborating or proving your stand or your findings. Decide the order of presenting the subtopics that is divide your points into categories and arrange them in the order in which they are to be presented in your essay. Finally, put everything together using a method convenient to you. It is always better to use illustrations for your outline. Now, that is about organizing and outlining. Now, there is no set formal format for preparing outlines anyway whichever way convenient to you you can you can do this outlining part now finally i would like to talk to you about writing a thesis statement now i had explained to you how thesis statement is important as far as an academic essay is writing an academic essay is concerned you have understood that focus and clarity are essential to make an essay successful focus clarity and logical order you may have to keep in mind these three words now, a, while writing a thesis statement or uh, before writing an essay, you have to pay attention to the focal point or the main point which you have, which you have, which you are going to deal with, the clarity with which you are going to analyze it and the logical order in which you are going to give your arguments uh, or supporting um, supporting ideas for the main topic now you can you can say that this statement is the backbone of an academic essay 
It is the backbone of any academic essay. And the three elements, focus, clarity and logical order are essential to make an essay successful. It is only through an effective thesis statement that you can achieve this. Once again, focus, clarity and logical order are very essential to make an essay successful. The thesis statement usually or essentially it should be presented in the introductory paragraph of your essay. Thesis statement is introduced in the introductory paragraph of your essay by which the reader, the audience knows what the essay is about. So it is an actually a kind of a, uh, it's a kind of an eye opener to the audience that by reading the introductory paragraph, the audience get the thesis statement or what you are going to talk about in the essay. Now, it is actually in an inverted pyramid style. The thesis statement at the beginning of the essay. Now, uh, in inverted pyri uh, pyramid style, what is this pyramid style? That is, the key ideas of your essay are arranged in the order of their importance, where more important ideas are followed by less important ones more important ones and um, more important ones on the top and less important ones at the end towards the end so it is actually a inverted pyramid inverted pyramid structure now depending on the type of essay uh, you know there are different types of essays descriptive expository etc depending on the type of the essay different types of thesis statement that is your thesis statement differs from the type of the question asked or the type of explanation that is required from you it if it is expository you have to give you have to use an explaining or explanatory thesis should be given if it is an argumentative type of essay you have to your your um, your thesis statement it should be reflected in your thesis statement your thesis statement should be an argumentative one now then some samples are given some sample thesis statements are given on page 33 of your text now example one Induction courses for first year students on the fundamental skills necessary at the tertiary level are the need of the hour, arguably because there is a wider gap in, still, in skill expectations in school and college. This is a point which we had discussed in the first, uh, in the first session of this unit. That is uh, about a kind of a, a bridge course which is necessary. Another example of a thesis statement. This essay outlines the guidelines prepared by the Ministry of Health on the pay structure to be offered to paramedical staff in private hospitals and argue that the parameters followed in preparing the pay structure do not seem to address the existing anomalies. Another, another statement, that is uh, <coughs> another thesis statement. A third example would be, despite prevalence of suitable legislation to prevent the menace of ragging, the evil practice 
continue to be reported from across the country and this points to the need for further measures to eradicate it totally. Another example of a thesis statement. Still another one, the internet has emerged as the most important medium of communication and has served as a global forum for people expressing ideas without fear of being censored. Now, these are some of the examples of uh, some thesis statements. Now, there is no fixed rule in academic writing on the position of thesis statement within the introductory paragraph and thesis statement need not necessarily be one sentence. It can be more than one sentence also. A thesis statement, a thesis statement reveals the standpoint of the writer. Now thesis and the tone of the essay. Your thesis statement needs to be expressive of the tone and purpose of your essay. It presents the rhetorical mode or the strategy for developing the content. Example, narration, description, illustration, comparing and contrasting, cause and effect, argumentative, etc. Now, uh, conceive the thesis at the pre-writing stage that I, I told you about that. It is actually, it is necessary that it is at the pre-writing stage that you have to formulate your thesis statement for the essay. Now, <clears throat> then uh, talking about exact wordings of the thesis may be changed as your writing progresses. Suppose uh, you, uh, you prepare the thesis statement at the pre-writing stage. Now, you are free to change your thesis statement at, the, at any stage while you go on with writing your essay. Now, it is not a fixed one. In any, at, at any stage, even at the revising stage, even at the revising stage, you can change the wordings of your thesis statement. Now, there is something to be avoided. Avoid being dogmatic and categorical. See, in order to maintain academic style, you are expected to avoid highly judgmental, vague, broad, dogmatic, categorical, and overstated statements as your thesis statement. Say, some examples are given. Some overstatement. Students' essays at the initial years of tertiary education are haunted by clumsiness and wordiness. Now, this is a, uh, using this as a thesis statement is something, is uh, something like approaching a topic uh, uh, negatively, a negative aspect. This could be avoided. Another example, another, 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 another example of a thesis statement which could be avoided. That is, the attitude of me, of the media towards the issues of students is highly condemnable uh, highly condemnable you are very you are you are being very what do you what do you what do you call it uh, like um, being dogmatic and categorical now another one to succeed in civil services examinations one needs to start preparations right from kindergarten kindergarten classes um, uh, it's an overstatement. It's an overstatement. Not all civil service uh, people, successful civil service people uh, have started or their preparations from uh, kindergarten days. Overstatement. So such things should be avoided in, <coughs> in, in forming the uh, thesis statement. Now, sentences indicating well-established facts 
cannot be treated as thesis statements. The following statements contain facts and therefore they cannot be used as thesis statements. For example, there are many polluting factories along the river Ganga. Smoking causes lung cancer. Majority of film goers prefer commercial movies over art movies. India's media and entertainment industry is witnessing tremendous growth in the digital era. Carbonated drinks cause toothache. Now all these are sentences indicating well established facts and such statements cannot be cannot be highlighted as your thesis statement because everybody knows that uh, carbonated drinks causes tooth decay now boys and girls and finally each thesis statement has to be supported by evidence because that becomes that becomes the part uh, that becomes part of your body paragraphs all this time we were talking about we were talking about pre writing activities the preparation you have to the preparation that you have to undergo before starting writing an academic essay so supporting the thesis statement with evidence there may be more than one way of uh, supporting supporting the thesis statement now each of those ideas each of those points become the skeleton or become the central part of your body paragraphs one two three four whatever it is in the next session when we meet i'll be able to talk to you more about supporting the thesis statement statements with evidence thank you for listening to me till we meet in the next session keep well have a nice day